Today I am going to teach you university problem from the queuing theory chapter. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. Like, share and subscribe. So let's see first of all the description. A road transport company has one reservation clerk on duty at a time. He handles information on bus schedule and makes reservations. Customers arrive at a rate of 8 per hour and the clerk can service 12 customers on an average per hour. Answer the following. First, what is the average number of customers waiting for service of the clerk? Second, what is the average time a customer has to wait before getting service? Third, the management is planning to install a computer system to serve customers. This is expected to reduce the service time from 5 to 3 minutes. The additional cost of having the new system works out to rupees 50 per day. If the cost of goodwill of having a customer to wait is estimated to be 12 paisa per minute spent waiting before serve, should be the company install the computer system? Assume 8 hours working day means per day working hours are 8. So I have taken over here only the first two questions because we are going to see first these two questions and then we will discuss about the third question. Here it is written customer arrive at a rate of 8 per hour. So very simple that is called as arrival rate lambda and clerk can service 12 customer on an average per hour. So we can say that is the service rate mu. So once you got lambda and mu so simply you should go for the utilization factor rho and that is equal to lambda upon mu. So if you put this value and simplify then you will get utilization factor as 2 by 3. Now first question. What is the average number of customers waiting for service of the clerk? So waiting for service that means what? Waiting in a queue. Number of customers that is always denoted by L and waiting for Q that means LQ. So first question that is about the LQ. So I am going to write the equation for LQ that means average number of customers waiting in the queue. And you know that that is rho into LS where LS is the average number of customers waiting in the service or you can say waiting in the system. So first I am going to find LS that is equal to lambda upon mu minus lambda. We have mu and lambda both and so that you will get ls is equal to two customers. So now if I put over here rho is equal to 2 by 3 and ls is equal to 2 and so that I will get lq that is equal to 4 by 3 customers. So this is your first answer. Next what is the average time? So every time that is always denoted by W. A customer has to wait before getting service. That means in the queue. And so that you can say it is WQ. And you know that WQ is equal to rho into WS. So first I have to find WS. And that is equal to 1 upon mu minus lambda. We have mu and lambda both. And so that you will get WS is equal to 1 by 4 hour. Because of here the unit of lambda and mu both are in hour. So if you multiplied by 60 then you will get in minute. So once you got ws then you can find wq. So here if I put rho is equal to 2 by 3 and ws is equal to 15 then I will get wq as 10 minute. So this is your second answer. Now next about the third question. So let's see third question. The management is planning to install a computer system and this is expected to reduce the service time from 5 minute to 3 minute. So previously the service time is 5 minute. Now by installing a computer system the service time will be reduced from 5 to 3 minutes. The additional cost of having the new system is rupees 50 per day. So if you install the new computer system, then your per day cost is rupees 50. If the cost of goodwill of having a customer to wait is estimated to be 12 paisa per minute spent waiting before serve. 
cost of goodwill that means it may be considered as the bad impression towards the company by the customer and so that it is considered as a goodwill cost and that is 12 paisa per minute so should the company install the computer system so if the company want to improve goodwill then whether the company should go for the new computer system or not so that is our objective so already we have lambda is equal to 8 customer per hour and we got wq also as 10 minutes previously now expected waiting time for all customers in a day that is equal to 8 lambda into wq because of wq is the waiting time 10 minutes multiplied by 8 into lambda because of 8 is the hours per working day so if you multiplied by 8 into lambda then 8 into 8 64 hour hour will be cancelled so it will be the customer and customer is multiplied by 10 minutes so that will be the total minutes that is expected waiting time by the customers in a whole day so this is the total minutes that is the expected waiting time by the customer and if you look at goodwill cost 12 paisa per minute so i can say goodwill cost per day that is equal to 640 minute multiplied by 12 paisa so this is the goodwill cost per day 76.80 rupees now if you install a computer system and so that i can say now your service time per customer will be 3 minute so per hour i can say 20 customer so this is your new service rate by installing a computer system so here you can understand 3 minutes per customer for the service so i can calculate how many customers per 60 minute so it is multiplication of these two divided by three so this is your new customer rate and so that i can find ws that is the waiting time in the system by installing new computer system and that is equal to five minute so now this is the description and already we have these two value so now i can find rho dash that is the new utilization factor lambda upon mu dash lambda is 8 and mu dash is equal to 20 and so that i will get rho dash as 2 by 5 so earlier we got the value of ws that is the waiting time in the system by providing the new computer system so you can say it is w dash s now next so you can find now w dash q that means new waiting time in the queue so you know that rho dash is equal to 2 by 5 and w dash s is equal to 5 minute so if you simplify then you will get as 2 minute so this is your new waiting time in the queue so now i can find expected waiting time for all customer in a day with additional computer system is equal to 8 lambda into w dash q so here 8 into lambda that means 8 so 8 into 8 64 into w dash q that is 2 minute so 64 into 2 that is equal to 128 minute so now i can find the new goodwill cost per day that is 128 minute into 20 paisa per minute that is given to you as goodwill cost so it is 15.36 rupees so if i install new computer system then my new goodwill cost per day will be 15.36 rupees only so now i can compare previously the goodwill cost per day without new computer system is 76.80 rupees and new goodwill cost per day by providing computer system will be 15.36 rupees so i can conclude over here reduction in the goodwill cost per day by providing the new computer system is 76.80 minus 15.36 and that is 61.44 rupees 
So this is the reduction in the goodwill cost. And here it is given to you. The additional cost by providing this computer system is 50 rupees per day. So I can say saving per day will be 61.44 minus this additional cost 50 and so that it will be 11.44 rupees. So that I can say it is advisable to install a computer system. If you want to see more videos on operation research then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. So thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.